Hi everyone and welcome to today's video from Nick Taylor Plumbing Limited. Today we're going to teach you all about how to bend copper pipework. Ooh. Today we're going to focus on how to pull a 90 degree bend, how they teach you in college, how I've adapted my college learning into the experienced world and the benefits of pipe bending. Like and subscribe! Let's get to it. First things first, we need to familiarise ourselves and calibrate our pipe benders. If this is your first time using pipe benders, check out our channel to learn the basics of them. Every set of pipe benders have a different point of contact where the pipe actually starts to bend. That means is where the copper actually starts to bend. So we've got a point to work from in order to get super accurate to, uh, to bend. So we need to work out where the copper touches the former just here, when it's in there. And the way to do that, dead simple, you put that in, stand back a little bit, you get your, your stop there, you get your guide, slot that in. Now, I'm just gonna let that balance, let the weight of this just hold it there, and then my other hand, I'm just gonna turn it, just like so. And what that then does, it actually marks on the copper where it's, it starts. And I've actually done it down here so you can see earlier. See those marks there? That's exactly what we have just created up here. Now I'm going to take this out and you can see, or well, I hope you can see where it's marked in there which for some reason, handily, there's already a pencil mark there. But what I suggest is you then mark it exactly where that ring is there. So that is how we calibrate our pipe benders. We know exactly where the former here is gonna to start to bend our copper so we can get super accurate measurements and become a plumbing god. Now we've established this, we can move on to the fun part, let's bend some pipe. Now the 90 degree bend is the easiest bend in the plumbing world, so it's a good place to start and build from. There are two ways to teach the 90 degree bend. So, the first way is we've got a measure here, this is the angle we want to go to. This is how they'll teach you in college, you'll have something very similar, you'll have a graph or a line with a measurement and the same up. So simple maths really on this. So we've got 400 mil and 200 mil. So 400 and 200 is obviously 600. So we cut a 600 mil piece of copper. Then we go 400 mil to the, where, to the corner. So get a tape measure. We mark it. So we've got a 400 millimeter measurement. Now what we do, we actually come back because when we bend the copper, it'll take us all the way over here. We don't want to do that. We want it to be exactly going directly up here. So we come back and the distance we come back is four times the diameter of this pipe. So more maths, 15 mil times four is 60 millimeters. So, we then make another mark, so we're coming back this way by 60 millimetres. Let me just quickly mark that up. So now we've got two marks on there, which means 60 millimetres we've come back. So we get our benders, we put it in, we've marked the point of contact. We get our guys, put that in. So that's the start. So you can see where I got the marks there. That's where we want to be, which is this corner here. And we've come back 60 mil to there. We put our former in, sorry, our guys. And then we give it a bend. You keep going. Keep going, keep going. 
So we've got this mark here on our benders. That tells me that that's a 90 degree bend. Halfway, you've got these marks, which are 1445. In college, they'll ask you to get your square, and you'll just offer that up. See, it looks like I've slightly overbent that. Very easily done, but not worried about that. I'll explain why in a moment. So before I offer this up and get it absolutely perfect and take all the glory, become, become a plumbing god, um, I'm going to get the square because I think this is slightly overbent. So I put the square on him. Yeah, you can see that that's, that's not quite right. So because it's 15 mil copper, it's dead easy with your hand. Just give it a little going over. Just give it a little pull. If you do it the other way, just push it in. Try not to do it too much because you'll just kink it and then you've got to start again. But practice makes perfect. Now we offer this up. This should be bang on. So there we go. You can see actually that it's still not quite 90 degrees. So give it a little bit of that. And you just tweak it until it's perfect. What you'll also notice is, if I move it slightly here, we've got that much pipe above. Now, that's strange. 400 and 200 is 600 mil. I cut this at 600 mil. Why is it, you know, 27 mil bigger? The reason is, when we bend this, the copper actually stretches. And because it's stretched, it just means we've got a bit, bit of excess on there. So quite simply, get your pipe slice, cut him off, jobs are good. Okay, so just to quickly summarize on that one, you, you, you get your pipe, you get your measurements, 400, a 200, 600 mil. You mark your 400 mil on your, on your straight piece of pipe. You then come back four times the diameter of the pipe. That's the important bit. Four times the diameter of the pipe that you're bending. This pipe's 15 mil. Four times 15 millimeters equals 60 millimeters. So from my 400 mil mark, I come back 60 mil. Mark the pipe. Once you've got that measurement, you then put that in the pipe bender, in your pipe benders, where it makes first contact. Then pull it, bend it, happy days. Okay, so the next way of bending a 90 degree bend is like this. So we've got our measurements again, 400 mil, 200 mil. This time we're gonna measure 400 mil like we did before, so I'm just going to use this for ease. So that's my 400 mil mark. I'm going to mark that all the way around. Ta -da. Then I'm going to get my pipe benders, like so. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put the mark we've just made, the 400 mil mark, where the point of contact is. Just line that up nice. Hold that in, you then get a scrap bit of copper and you pretty much just, you just do that. And you need to get your square, and this is going to be fun with 15 hands. Uh, this ain't going to be easy. So this is our 400mm measurement. This is the scrap piece of tube in there. I then get my square and you just line it up like so and once you're happy with it then you put your pencil mark here or pen mark there so we've put a new mark at the point of contact and let's pull it baby Ooh, feels good we will get our square just have a quick look at that looks pretty good and the moment of truth is da 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 oh yeah okay so how have i adapted my uh, college uh, basics to the real world environment well it's always very good it's brilliant to have a starting point because you've got to know exactly how to get the exact measurements which is college is brilliant for that when you come out of college 
you will uh, you'll pick up techniques. Hopefully, you'll you'll have a good employer. Hopefully, you'll have a good plumber to work alongside you and teach you the ropes. Um, I think would do you use a set square every day when you're measuring your bends? Probably not. Do uh, earlier on in the video, I had a bend and it wasn't quite exactly 90 degrees, and I, I just kind of bent it back and forth a little bit. You know, nothing wrong with that. And it's speed, speed, bang, 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 bang. Um, although you always want to take pride in your work, so don't go. You don't. You don't want to go too fast. Uh, these measurements here. Now, would I measure it exactly 400? No, I probably measure it like 450, uh, maybe even 500 if I'm, um, you know, if I'm a little bit unsure what the exact measurement is. And the same, the, the vertical 200, probably leave that a little bit longer, um, just so I can again speed. I can pull a pull a bend. And then I can just get my pipe slices and just just trim it down to where it needs to be. Um, also, I if I've got you know I've got a piece of pipe there fixed fixed there. I'm just I'm just going to offer a piece of pipe up like so, and I'm going to mark it rather than getting my exact measurement. And then I'm going to mark it with the pen, pull it, offer it back up. And if it's if it's bang on, great. If not, I'll just cut the excess off. Um, just like that. Uh, the downside to that, though, is wastage. You, you know, you go, you can have a bit of wastage then, uh, which can just goes in your scrap, scrap bin, uh, which will take down the scrappy. Um, so that's that's where I've learned my experience from uh, the experience world. There, um, there's that compromise between taking pride in your work and having very good quality, and also earning money and speed in your work as well. Send me some pictures on, your, on our socials of the bends which you do in college or at home or in your work environment or any crazy bends that you come across. Uh, it'd be great to see. Thanks for watching this short video and don't forget to like and subscribe.